For this video, I'm going to take you on a tour of the Aviation Hall of Fame located in Teterboro, New Jersey. If you spend any time on this channel, you'll quickly realize that I'm a huge fan of pretty much anything that moves. It doesn't matter if it's a fighter jet or a muscle car or a steam locomotive. I'm fascinated by the engineering that went into building these different vehicles. So it probably wouldn't come as a shock that when I went to film school back in the 90s, I actually minored in engineering just because I had to get at least a taste of it. And speaking about going back in time, I actually visited this museum as a child back in the 1980s. So we're getting really far back now. And I'll be honest with you, I don't really remember this place as a kid. I know I went here because I have some photographs that were taken in here and I remember sitting in a, a helicopter display here at this museum, but that's about it. So since I already had a history with this particular museum, I decided to revisit it and uh, try to bring back some of that nostalgia from when I was a kid. So let's jump into the place and take a look. The Aviation Hall of Fame and Museum of New Jersey was founded way back in 1972 and preserves New Jersey's aviation and space heritage. The museum displays historic aircraft, space equipment, artifacts, photographs, art, and an aircraft model collection. They also have quite a few um, planes and helicopters parked outside. So the admission price runs about $15 for adults. Senior citizens only pay $12, as well as children ages 3 through 12. Now, before you rush out to Teterboro, New Jersey to go to this museum, keep in mind, it's not really open to the public in a traditional fashion. You actually have to go to their website and make a reservation before you can actually enter this facility. I'm not sure how long this reservation system has been in place. I think they initiated it right around COVID-19 in 2020. I just went back and checked the website and their reservation system is still required and this is the middle of 2023, so it looks like that is a permanent thing. So how does this compare to other aviation museums? It's about average. You know, there's a lot of aviation museums that are basically um, situated in a single hangar, and this is roughly the same size as um, some of the older uh, museums that I reviewed, like the Warbirds Museum. It's nowhere near the size of some of those larger aviation museums that you would find in like Dayton, Ohio or Warner Robins, Georgia. Those things are huge with four or five hangars and uh, this is basically just the one building and uh, a yard outside with a couple historic aircraft. This is certainly the largest aircraft museum in the state of New Jersey that I'm aware of, which is kind of getting me to the bottom line already. This is an okay museum. I certainly wouldn't make a special trip for it, especially over a long distance. But if you're already in the area for like the American Dream Mall, any of the theme parks that are located there, or the indoor ski slope, then this is a place to come to burn a couple hours. Although it's not like you can improvise that move because you gotta make a reservation ahead of time. This museum is interesting. They had a couple displays that I found fascinating, like the Hindenburg display, and they had the, the first hovercraft in the nation, and and those type of things but overall there's not really a lot of historically significant aircraft here i mean some people who are into twa might have a problem that i just said that but i don't know i i have always been kind of more biased towards military aircraft versus civilian aircraft so i just can't get really excited over civilian aircraft and but that's just me obviously with a bias like that i definitely had more fun when i was in dayton ohio or warner robbins i just like looking at um, things like the sr-71 and some of these boeing commercial jets just that they, they just don't do the same thing for me so would i recommend the aviation hall of fame it depends if you're into civilian aviation um, there are some pretty neat displays, the airport displays of like Teterboro and Newark and all those other things with the little models and everything. That was interesting to me. If you don't like civilian aviation, then this place is really boring. They just don't have the fighter jets and everything else that you would see at most other aviation museums. This is really, really laser focused on civilian aviation. Well, those are pretty much all my thoughts on the Aviation Hall of Fame here in New Jersey. I'm just going to play a little music to wrap up this video.
Thanks for watching this episode of The Adventure Schmuck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See everyone next week.